brown girls. We live in the dregs of Queens, New York, where airplanes fly so low that we are certain they will crush us. On our block, a lonely tree grows. Its branches tangle in power lines, its roots up and sidewalks where we ride our bikes before they are stolen. Roots that render the concrete slabs uneven, like a row of crooked teeth. In our front yards, grandmothers string laundry lines, hang bed sheets, our brother's shorts, and our sneakers scrub to look brand new. Take those down, our mothers hiss. This isn't back home. In front yards, not to be confused with actual lawns, grow tomatoes that have fought their way through the hard earth. Our grandmothers refuse canes. Our brothers dress in wife beaters. We all sit on stoops made of brick. The Italian boys with their shaved heads zoom by on bikes, staring, their laughter harsh as their shiny gold chains. Our grandparents weed their gardens and our brothers smoke their cigarettes and in time, stronger substances we cannot recognize, whose scent makes our heads pulse. Our brothers who ride on bikes, lifting their front wheels high into the air. Brown. If you really want to know, we are the color of 7-Eleven root beer, the color of sand at Rockaway Beach when it blisters the bottoms of our feet, color of soil, color of the charcoal pencil our sisters use to rim their eyes, color of grilled hamburger patties, color of our mother's darkest thread which she loops through the needle, color of peanut butter, of the odd gene that makes us fair and white as snow. Like, what's her name? Is it Snow White? But don't get it twisted. We're still brown. Dark at 7 p.m. dusk, when our mothers switch on the light in the empty room, exclaim, oh, there you are. Brown boys. We stare at brown boys with their obsidian hair, their fingers and cheekbones, and think, he looks like my brother. He looks like the boy from the restaurant where we ordered kebabs, lechon, jerk chicken. He looks like the boy at the bodega who rang up our barbecue chips, our 99 cent cans of iced tea. He's beautiful, we think, but we'd never go out with him. We'd never date him. Why? Because he doesn't look, you know, because he looks like and anyway, he only likes those kinds of girls, the Vanessa Kleinberg types, we heard him say so. We stare at brown boys, listen to the way they say, library. They fascinate us, but we ignore them. Except one day when our class goes down for a visit to the library. Library, we mouth, alone with brown boys behind a bookshelf. Library. Follow my lips. Say it like this. Territory. It'll be fun, we say, and we take our white boys on a trip to Queens. From the subway, we watch high rises transform to squat buildings and bodegas. We point out city hospitals where we were born where some of our parents work as janitors, nurses, social workers, paper pushers. This is the playground where we chill with our brothers and sisters, we say. Touch the monkey bars, dull from children's hands. Around us, a cacophony of Spanish and Mandarin, Urdu and Tagalog and Vietnamese. Our ears are trained to hear them. Look at this place, they say. Walking along sidewalks, we hold our white boys' hands. Or maybe they are the ones clinging on to us. We pass a little boy dressed in a Spider-Man costume, even though it isn't Halloween, as he walks with his abuela. We hear the shh, 
matcha sound of brown boy sneakers playing basketball. Feet blurred, swift as wind. Brown boys say, hey, what's good? And ignore the white boys at our sides. Toss their chins up at us. Fresh, you looking mad fresh, their eyes say. Some of the brown boys simply stop, ball in hand as we walk by. Yo, when you over him, you know where I'm at. We hear them laughing with their friends and we blush, drag our white boys away. Coconut, they call after us, bitch. No matter, we think as we walk away with our prize. What an asshole, our white boys say, what was that about? But some of those brown boys, when we pass them, call us by our names. Not our American names, but our names spoken in cramped living rooms. Ones used by our grandmothers to shake us awake. They call us by our names, our names like tiny flowers. And when we hear them, we must do our very best to walk away. Shadows. Our white boys are white boys who are now our husbands and claim us at midnight, at midnight when the moon is half hidden, who curl their fingers over our breasts and thighs and say our names. More, we beg, harder, you are everything. Who slide their hands down our backs, our backs damp with sweat. No one can say we do not love our husbands because we do. We are good wives. Close your eyes, our husbands say. We do, we obey. Feel their lips on our necks, stomachs, hips, between our legs. But when we close our eyes, what comes to mind is not our husband's faces, but his face. Brown boys, the boys we knew and left behind. Faces etched into our minds. Panic, open your eyes, hurry. Good wives, we say, we are good wives. Walking past a construction site on a gray day in Chelsea, we run into them. Stop, startled, is that you? Brown boy, now grown and dressed in a neon vest, asks, we blush at the sight of his mouth, which reminds us of old teenage desire, naked and unabashed for him. Lower East Side. We meet our friends for happy hour, hand a $20 bill to the bartender, double take when he quips, still whiskey and coke after all these years? We peer at him, recognize the brown boy we wrapped our arms around in a basement in Richmond Hill while Aaliyah crooned on the radio. Holy shit, we say, how are you? For the whole night, we do not take our eyes off of him, write our numbers on napkins, leave trembling. See brown voice paintings and an exhibit in the Bowery, catch sight of him walking down Wall Street in a navy suit, ordering dumplings in Chinatown or sushi in Soho. Try not to stare at them and their women, fair-skinned, who link arms with our brown boys, who hold brown boys' umbrellas, who, who brown boys hold umbrellas for and kiss on concrete sidewalks. We travel to New Orleans for a friend's wedding. At a jazz bar named Court of Two Sisters, meet a man playing drums. Drums that sound like a match going out, hissing, building to a crash, reverberating in the dim room. Louisiana accent like caramel against our New York City mile a minute. He slows us down. Reckless, reckless women. Desire when he turns out the light. We return to our houses, dream of him and that night forever. Or flee our husbands. Leave for that brown boy now grown. Open your eyes.